Hey everyone, it's Diane here and we are doing hamstrings today. This is a short video to open up your hamstrings. So I'm going to turn. You are going to want a block, especially if your hamstrings are tight. If you don't have tight hamstrings, you can probably do it without a block, but nice to have one. So my feet, you're going to bring your feet hips distance apart, hands right on the hips. Stand nice and tall at the tailbone, drop down, lift the breastbone up here, and let's take a big inhale and exhale and just bend the knees and fold forward and let yourself hang here. Maybe your hands come to the ground, maybe they don't, maybe, um, but you know what? Actually, bend your knees enough so they do come to the ground. And then We'll just inhale and lift the spine and straighten the legs. You might reach the crown of the head forward. If the hands don't stay on the ground, bring them to the shins. And then exhale and bend and let the head go. And again, inhaling. Just a nice, easy straightening of the legs as much as possible. Exhale and fold. And inhale. Straightening those legs, again, as much as you can, try to shift the weight slightly forward towards the balls of the feet. Relax the toes. Exhale, bend. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Bring the shoulders down away from the ears. Exhale and fold here. And then we'll walk the feet just a little bit wider, just a smidgen, maybe two or three inches wider. Bring that block in front of your left foot and your hand, your full palm of the right hand goes on that block and we start to straighten the left leg and bend the right knee. And so right here, why is this important? The full palm on the block, that's your foundation. So we press down into that block and you'll roll the left collarbone wide and rolling it up towards the sky. You might stay here. And then on an exhale, roll that shoulder down and press into your right hand and roll open and start to look up to the ceiling. And exhale and roll it down. Your right knee is bent. Your left leg is straight and we're turning, turning, turning. I'm really working that right arm. The arm is straight. I'm reaching down. The hand, you want to land it right under your shoulder. And then on an inhale, open it up. Take the left arm up. And try to feel that your top hand is in line with the bottom hand. Right leg is bent, left leg is straight. You're reaching up. Here's what I see sometimes. It's a little more like this, you know, because we can't quite open it up. And in, in, in that case, work with the hand down. More important to get the twist in the spine than the arm up and over here or here or here. Okay, so this is where you're going. You may not get there today. Then you'll feel this all around the outer hip and the IT band and the hamstring and we'll take a big inhale and then exhale. Just bring it down and let the head go. Shake that out. Move your block. Move it over in front of your right foot. So now you see it from the other side. Left hand on the block. I'm bending the left knee, straightening that Right leg, starting the turn. I'm going to roll that right shoulder up towards the sky. Exhale and bring it down a little bit. And inhale, left arm straight, right leg is straight, left knee is bent. Exhale, just roll that right shoulder down a little bit. Inhale, lift up out of your left arm, breathing. And then when I feel like, oh yeah, I've got it there, I'm going to take that arm up, breathing. Pressing into your left arm, lifting up out of your left arm, reaching up to the sky, reaching up into your fingertips, slightly shifting the weight forward towards the ball of the right foot, just a little bit. Breathe, reach the crown of the head forward. One more breath. And then let's just bend the knees, bring it down, hang out here. Tuck your hands right into your armpits. Not your armpits, your elbows. <laughs> Let the head go. Slowly, slowly, let's roll up to standing. And as you roll up, roll the shoulders. Step the feet together. 
turning to see you. Just gonna stand, feel that, shut your eyes for a moment. Breathe into it. And there you go. So that pose, you've got a little hamstring opening. We're opening up the side, the hip, the IT band, the hamstrings, and we're getting a twist in the spine, which is awesome. Again, those twists are really gonna work on keeping the spine supple. We get a little squeeze of the kidneys. We're opening the hips, which is where the meridian lines for the, um, the gallbladder, one of the organs of spring, we're cleansing that. So that's today. Um, try it out a couple times. I like to do that two or three times to each side. So thanks. See you next time.